Hi, I'm Brian Benham, and today I'm going to be drawing an excerpt from an old 1946 textbook called Fundamentals of Engineering Drawing by Warren Lazard. It's a revised edition and no longer in print, but if you'd like to draw along, hopefully you can find a copy out there on the internet. I have a theory that if I take a few minutes every day to draw something, I'll become a better 3D modeler, increase my spatial awareness, uh, learn more about how the world works, and just become a better designer and craftsman overall. So I hope you'll draw along in this series. Today's excerpt can be found on page 132, figure 255, the slide block. All right, so let's get started. I'm working in SketchUp Pro today, and I'm going to try to call out all the shortcut keys as I go. So if you would like to follow along and draw along, uh, please do so. All right, so I'm going to start out by blocking in this overall shape. So I'm going to hit R for the rectangle tool, and we have five and a quarter, comma, 2.75. All right, P to push pull, and we are one and nine sixteenths high, it looks like. So one and nine sixteenths. All right, so I am going to uh, start out by uh, blocking in these sections here. So we're an inch and a quarter, so T for tape measure. 1.25, enter. Then the next section is 0.75, three quarters of an inch. And we have 15 sixteenths, seven eighths, and then one and seven sixteenths. All right, so R for rectangle. So there's our first section. Our second section and then this end section here. Alright, so this guy looks like it's three quarters of an inch tall. So I'm gonna erase these guys now, I don't need them. Alright, T for tape measure, we're gonna go up 0.75, P to push pull, go down until I snap to that line. Next one, I'm going to snap to that line. And then this last one looks like it's an inch. So, T for tape measure. We're going to go up uh, one inch. All right, P to push pull. So we have a half inch ream. So we are one and three eighths inch over. So T, one and three eighths inches. And then this is a half inch. 0.5 uh, C for circle snap to my layout line and 0.25 radius enter P to push pull so uh, this guy right here an inch and a half so I'm gonna find the center here just by snapping and then I'm gonna go 0.75 whoops escape 0.75 so this measurement should be an inch and a half and it is so then we got to go 11 30 seconds 11 30 seconds R for a rectangle, I'm just gonna draw these guys in. P to push pull, extrude that back. And just use the eraser tool to clean that up. All right, control D, get rid of all those lines. All right, so this channeled curve, this angled curve right here, our angled dado, is 3 8 inch over. So T for tape measure, 3 8 inches, and we're 3 8 inches down. So I want this line to make it easier to see. It's 
five sixteenths over. All right, so let's draw this guy in. L for the line tool. I'm gonna go from this point to the corner. And then I'm gonna select that, hit M to move, control to make a copy, and then snap it onto this line right here. Delete the excess, and then P to push pull, and we'll bring it down there. All right, control D to delete the lines. All right, so now we need to work on this piece right here. So three quarters of an inch over. 0.75, enter. 0.75, enter. Shift Q to bring up my protractor. I'm going to go up 60 degrees, 60 enter. Sixty degrees on this side. And this is seven sixteenths up. So T seven sixteenths. Alright, so now I'm just going to L for my line tool and I'm going to trace out. Uh, my tape measure lines, my guidelines. All right, P to push pull. And we're gonna hit a problem here because we're gonna run right into that circle. So, we'll have to redraw that circle in here. There we go. So now, Right click, reverse faces. Oh, whoops. Right click, reverse faces. <clears throat> All right, so that, that face is actually this bottom face we're looking at. So I'm gonna need to close this up. P to push pull, go down till we cut it out. make it into a component. This was figure 255, side block, slide block, need an L. Slide block, create. All right, there we go. I'm gonna move on to the next one in the next video and these are gonna just progressively get harder and harder and harder and hopefully by the time I get through the entire book, uh, we will have learned something.